Hey guys, Spirit here. So today I'm going to be doing a very belated video on the Mars Costumes 2021 Halloween animatronics. So if you're probably you're probably wondering why I'm doing this so late, I just felt like it. I've been planning on doing this video for a while because I really wanted to have all my thoughts like settled. Because like a lot of the props I either really like and then didn't like or didn't like and now like. So my thoughts are like pretty like set in stone. So I'm just going to get right into it. I'm not going to be talking, unless I have a lot to I'm not going to be talking about any prop for too long. Okay, this one I am, I know I said I was going to talk a lot, but this one I have to. Because this one is easily my favorite prop at the convention, or, you know, of the, of the year. He is a must-pick up for me. I mean, I actually recorded this video once, but I shut off my phone by accident. And I in that video, I said I probably wouldn't pick him up if he was too much. But I really do like this prop. I am willing to pay the price for him. The only problem with the price with him is that I won't be able to... You know, I won't be able to get as much, but I'd I think I'd rather have this one prop because I like him that much. His digital eyes and his mouth are just amazing. He's incredibly tall and, you know, like, and he looks really good. And his chest is like, has a really nice green glow effect to it. He is like, just mwah. Like, he's like, he's, he's the, he's the best. I'm going to spoil it for you right now. He's my favorite. He's an, he's an easy 9.5 or 10 out of 10 for me. He, he's just fantastic. Um... He's gonna do his home for a bit. Yeah, he's amazing. Alright, okay. I wanna pause for one more second. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, this video is a little fast, so I do have to pause it. For the um distortion spots, I'm not gonna be talking about them. Because I they're just I love distortions. I think their props are unbelievably detailed and incredible. Like beyond incredible, actually. But they're for me, they're just completely out of my budget. I guess, like, I mean, I'm getting a job this year during the summer, but I normally don't have a job. So I, so the money I do have isn't very much to buy these things, you know? So distortion is kind of out of my league completely. If I want to also buy my others, the stuff I was also planning on getting. Um, zombie killer is pretty cool. This, if I have extra money this year, you know, for my job, I will be picking up. Okay, I, I went past him again. The pumpkin stalker, I will be picking him up because he's amazing. Only problem for him is going to be storage because he's huge. Okay. Now we have one that was my favorite, but to me is honestly in the lower end of the scale. This is the Jack Stalker or the Prowling Jack. I don't, I don't know. Personally, I like the one without the legs more because the legs look really weird. But anyway, I am just, I'm not really a fan of this prop anymore. I really, I just don't like him that much anymore. When I first saw the reveal, he was like my favorite prop, but I don't like this prop that much, honestly. It's it's literally if the collect it's like if the collector dropped his sack and just grabbed a, a Jemmy Thriller pumpkin, very boring, very uninteresting, very kind of cheesy actually, and like um Hunt former says like one of those talky props where it just keeps going, it just keeps going on and on and on, rather than like just doing something interesting, like a prop could talk obviously, but if you're gonna have it talk, don't have it talk for like an hour. It does look cool. I do like this prop, but it's not worth it for whatever it is, like 400. That, that's crazy. I think it's like 400. Now we have what is the second worst prop of the of all of them so far. You'll see what number one is in a bit. This is the Hooded Phantom. Honestly, it's like if basically, I'm just, actually, I don't even really want to talk about this one this much because I really hate this one that much. It's literally just a, an SVI mechanism with some green lights and some blankets thrown over it. Very cheap, very overpriced, very boring. Now we have Rosemary. Rosemary is probably like my third favorite prop. Rosemary is very cool, although I'm not really a big fan of any of the changes she went through. The only change I actually like and would have on the would have rather had on the original are the eyes. Because the eyes look really good on her. But other than that, I'm not really a fan of any of the changes. Like, the face, or the hands, or the dress, or anything like that. But other than that, she is really cool. She is an absolute must-pick-up for me. Um, as you can see in the demo video, she's pretty broken. Her head doesn't go up, and the lunging barely works at all. Next, we have... Did I skip one? No, I didn't. Okay. We have the um, techie... I don't know, possessed girl, whatever they're calling her. Not possessed girl, whatever. This prop stinks, honestly. It, it, it's like the third worst. I don't like this prop at all. She's she's decently priced, but just get Bloodthirsty Betty on the secondhand market or a leftover spirit. This, this prop is so boring and just clearly a knockoff. It looks like something Sunstar would make. That's how lame it is. Um, is. I'm actually going to do a two for one. 
the Lunging Reaper and the Lunging Witch, they're fine. I don't know. They're mid for me. They're eh. They're, I, I do like them, but I'd rather just pick up the originals just because they're cheaper. By like almost a, nearly $100 cheaper. And the digital eyes aren't even that good on these. Whatever. I think the only prop that actually has good digital eyes are um, Peekaboo Clown. That's it. Or Hide and Freak. Re remember that from a while ago when I found it, it was called Hide and Freak. That was, that was pretty funny. Um, like I said, I'm not just talking about distortions. Okay, this is the new Scorched Scarecrow with the better audio. This prop is very cool, and the nice audio is cool, is a good, is nice, because you could actually understand what the hell this prop is saying now, but it, it's kind of boring, I don't know. We've had enough of these generic reaps, pumpkin reaper things. It's like my thoughts on, um, the Jack Stalker. Here we have the, I don't know, I think he's called the Witchy Witch. This thing's fine. I know it's supposed to be basic, but it's, okay, now we gotta really talk about this one. I have a lot to say about this one. You know, Witchy Witch is fine, though, but, um, oh, boy, this prop. This was a prop that I absolutely loved during his original um, reveal, and now I don't like it that much. It's fine. His face looks really, the prototype's face looks, at least this one's face looks really bad. The the one in the video was much better. And the the clothing looked a tr horrible on it, really cheap. But it doesn't, that doesn't even look like moss. It literally looks like a green blanket. Really? Oh, oh God. We got to talk about these things now. I got to say, these things are really, really lame. The three, first, all of them. I don't like any of them, really. I think the only one I actually would consider picking up is the pumpkin. And even then, I already have the prop that plays, that originally plays that audio, which is the towering Jacko Man from Home Depot. I don't know. People like the doll. I don't, I'm not really a fan of, like, dolls. To me, they're so, they're just, dolls are boring now. Yeah, this is the only one I actually do like, but even then, I don't really like them that much. The witch is totally broken in this one, and the doll, like I said, is boring. I'm not, not really a fan of dolls. So, you're going to laugh. You guys are going to laugh to me. I said that the Towering Reaper is my favorite thing. This, this is my favorite thing, the Flaming Skull. I'm not kidding you. This is literally my favorite thing this year. This is literally the one thing that I will be so upset if I don't... Like, I will actually be, like, genuinely angry if I don't pick up this year. That's how much I like this. And, so, yes, this is literally my favorite thing. But Towering Reaper and Rosemary are still cool. Um, Peekaboo Bear I'm gonna get because my old one died really bad. Plus, I had the, I had the um, shitty Kmart model where it wasn't dirty like this one. It was, like, had, like, like this, like, weird fur where it was, like, clean... I don't know. I didn't like that one that much. I'm going to get the that one because it looks much better. Smaller stuff. Smaller stuff. Oh, Rusty. Rusty I have. But in this video, he looks very, like, he looks somehow cheaper than the Spirit model, which is very sad. Because he wasn't even that well made when he was at Spirit. And he looks even worse in this video. Okay. Now we have the Techie, Zombie, and Clown. Now, you know what? Honestly, they are so horrible. I'm not even going to talk about them. I, I like people that they literally look like Pan Asian prop or Sunstar props just reskinned by Techie. Very not very boring. Then we have the Soothsayer, who is my second favorite prop for the year, even though she's broken in this video. If she was fully working, you know that'd be really cool. But this prop I like a lot. Her. Her, the Towering Reaper, the Flaming Skull, and Rosemary are all must, must pick ups for me. Everything else is like, nah, I don't really care that much. Uh, she's awesome. It's awesome that she came back and she's exactly like the original, but I've never even really liked that. I never even really liked that much that prop. I never even really liked that prop that much, even back. Okay, and my iPad just died. Okay, so um, I'm sorry for sitting in the dark. I'll turn on a light. Shit. Okay. So, the other props I didn't mention were, the, I think I mentioned the Reaper already. I was going to mention the the, the, the the Carving Pumpkin Girl and the, um, I'll just find something to film in the room. Here, I'll go over here. Or the, um, the, the Carving Pumpkin Girl and, um, I, I mentioned the Reaper and Cotton Candace. Cotton Candace is my least favorite prop of the whole thing. She's, she was the one that I said was below the Hooded Reaper and the, the Possessed Girl, or the, 
I don't know. I'm just going to call her Blood, not Bloodthirsty Betty. That's what I'm going to call her. I forgot her name. Um, she's a complete joke, and I can't believe she's actually, that, that it actually got released. It's really sad that the thing that they release nowadays. The Lunging Pumpkin cover is actually a pretty cool prop, and it is one I want to pick up. Maybe. If she's on sale at, like, Party City, she is absolutely one I'll be picking up, for, like, like, at the 50 off sale. Um, I was mentioning Possessed Girl for my iPad. Like, I've never really been a huge fan of her, but I also might pick her up this year. It depends. I'm kind of, I kind of want to do, like, like, um, girls this year, like, the girl props. So, because I really don't have many of those at all. I really, really do want Rosemary, though. She's going to be so cool when she comes out. As for pre-orders, um, I can't, I can't even pre-order the Soothsayer or Towering Reaper or Flaming Skull yet. Rosemary, I haven't yet, but I would like to see some people get her first. I don't really care about her getting right away. I'd rather her be decent before I spend all the money on her. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I gotta say, other than the props that I mentioned that I like, everything else this year is kind of eh, and I have honestly no plans of picking them up. I mean, between space, I mean, some of them look, they look, the problem is that the props look big, but they don't look like, there was, like, no care put into them. Like, bigger isn't always better. I mean, look at the Jemmy life sizes. I know I mentioned them in every single video. I, I know. I know it's annoying that I mentioned Jemmy life sizes in every single video. But if they weren't so good, I wouldn't mention them in every video. Look at the original Jemmy life sizes. So basic, and yet they are considered so scary by so many people. Look, they're so simple. They're, like, they're very simple props. They're six feet, they're six foot characters. They're just, they're very, like, easy, they're very simple, they're very, ch they were really cheap when they first came out, they were, like, very cost-efficient, and they were very effective, and these new props don't seem to understand that mentality. It's sad, you know? It's really sad what's going on. Um, I, I hope Spirit this year doesn't just, doesn't, I hope Spirit this year isn't affected too bad by this whole, by seasonal, by Mars costumes being bought by Oriental Trading. Because otherwise, I am scared for Spirit this year. But thankfully, Spirit has enough companies under their own wing. So I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue. But the Seasonal Visions, prop this, seasonal visions props this year are, probably are not going to be great. Because, you know, Seasonal Visions was bought out by Oriental Trading. So that's why the props this year aren't as good as last year. Where, like, last year I technically could have bought all of the props and been happy. Where this year there's a bunch of them that are just, like, lazy reskins and such. So, um... Spirit is looking cool. I've seen some of the leaks. And I have seen... I remember things that were supposed to happen last year that didn't this year. Like, the one problem I'm allowed to talk about, because it was already... It's already very public information. Like, I'm excited for the new Beetlejuice. He's going to be cool. Um, Wacky Mole is going to be cool. And yes, I, I'm, I'm, I can pretty much guarantee you that Wacky Mole is coming out this year. I have no proof of it. Absolutely none. But I can pretty much guarantee that he's coming out this year. All they have to do for Wacky Mole is just make him like Uncle Charlie. If they just make him like Uncle Charlie, he's perfect. That's all they have to do. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or your night or whatever. I hope you're getting ready because, baby, Halloween, it will be right around the corner. Well, at least the sneak peeks will. So, you got, you better get your seatbelt on. You better get, You better get tightened up. Because things, because shit's about to get real. I'll see you guys later. Bye.